creations and here we're going to be doing the Otto Plus Minion that is controlled by infrared remote and here's the models the 3d printed um, model of Minion he's got his head he's got some simple ears that just made and that's what he looks like inside and he has a little um, opening at the back okay this is the standard Auto Plus uh, body, which means you can use this for other Auto heads in the same style. Because we actually got the feet, standard feet, the legs, and we are using these type, which are these, okay, and of course the arms. And we have these holes at the end to fit the hands, okay? So these fit just by slotting those in and just turning them and they're there. When you print them, they might be a little bit tight, so you might have to file in between here. Just go gently or you might break it. So file them down and they'll fit, okay? Quite snugly. If they go loose, you can always stick a little bit of double-sided tape to hold them but they're not too bad okay there you go so next part is electronics here are the electronics and we have the remote infrared transmitter it's this infrared you'll find them on eBay Amazon or wherever you go to and they come as a kit with the infrared receiver and you get some leads as well which is useful these are the leads we normally use for auto which are 10 centimeters long then um, we have nano with the kit you get it with the cable and then you have the external nano board okay which is fitted on right you also might see I have JST connector here and this is the JST um, these. You can also buy these on eBay or wherever. You see, I have actually used this uh, connection with a toggle switch as well. It just makes it much easier to use, and I have done a little video on that. Uh, this is the Ultrasonic Eyes for Otto, and I actually use rechargeable high capacity which is 2500 milliamps or 2600 and they work fine on the board at connected on ground and 5 volts okay we have metal g90s servos which has six off and cause the flanges to connect with the legs and everything and that's it I've opened up the Arduino um, program IDE. I'm on Arduino 1.8.9, so it's a recent one. I have actually have a clone board and I'm using the o, o bootloader. Now we've picked up con 16, which should be the one that is our um, board okay now what you can do is just upload straight on it you can compile it but this has been checked and you can see it's going along and here the servos are called up okay that's that then it's set up setup is done in minimum maximum and then 90 okay so the loop actually brings it back to 90 and that's actually calibration that's what you're looking for it's a good way of checking uh everything's working and it has verified okay gonna be building auto i've already screwed in the um, hips as I call them or the top of the legs and 
we're now going to plug these in so from the front let's bring this closer we can see it's going to be two on the right Otto's right and number three on the left okay so Otto's left and Otto's right okay so number two plug in don't forget to keep the brown ground wire to the back and plug into two so there you go so we have signal lie positive and ground so we do number three now which is Otto's light hip so that's Otto's left and that's Otto's right okay so we're going to just turn them over and as you can see I've already got Otto powered up you see so what we're going to do is we're going to pop the legs on the servers already flanges have been put in and glued and just trimmed okay so remember at the moment if I face Otto to the front his legs go this way okay so just plop those on see where they fit they don't fit on that one just check that's the fit on the other side and there you go so they, they fit quite snug that's it this, that's perfect now we turn on it's the first thing we're going to check how lined up they are okay it's not too bad okay so now we have that we're going on to Otto's feet so we're just building out so why the boards out outside the um, Otto at the moment and we are actually going to grab the feet and the way these work they already got the servos glued in I'll just trim the top the flange and we slot them in so before I actually put Otto together we're just going to make sure now before you just see where you are with this okay so it's about there okay and then we should be able to go slowly the thing you must emphasize with your students to go carefully okay so that's the front and of course that is is left I think so we can look at Otto and see where he is so yeah it's his left and the other one will be his right okay so we're just going to slot it in again just see where he is on the all the servos are just be might have to just flip that in yeah so that is his right so on this his right foot I mean his left foot is four and his right foot is five okay so that's left and we get the brown to the back positive and the signal which is orange to the front oops better turn it off well, it's best to make sure you turn these things off before you attach your pin um, your cables your leads okay that's that let's number this one and the other one is number five 
there you go all done and turn it on so that should be right let's stick these the back okay so we just turn it on Okay, so one is way out, so that's not normal, but we'll just line her up, try again. So yes, at least we had one, as you see, can be a little, a little bit out, to say the least. And we just do the reset down here. Okay, see how they go. Better. Well, there you go. So it's not too bad to get those lined up. Now, the next part is the arms. Okay, I'm just going to turn these board off for a minute. And because I'm doing um, the arms, I will just pull out the legs or the hips out at the moment because I need to make sure everything stays in position while I'm doing this okay so we got this now with this we need to grab two more of these and we're going to be putting these on okay I'll re trim these down and I'll just show you how these are slot in always face them this end bit inwards so they sit like that and then you can glue them later all right that's up to you so we just do the other side again just pop that in and we are just going to slot these in so I actually slot these in before I put them into the arms part so we just slot them in it's a bit easier to do as well so while you're lining up your Otto I'll just bring him in that way the arms it's easier to do it this way okay so we'll just pop that in there and just at this moment we're just going to plug these in again we look at the chart and you can see this cable we'll do first is number six which is Otto's right so again make sure you get the brown one at the back and that's ground and then slot it into number six there you go okay next one is number seven and this is Otto's left we just slot that in okay there we go so I haven't detached the hips or legs because we don't want Otto to move underneath otherwise he'll fall over okay There you go. So we're roughly there. Now we can actually assemble Otto and put Otto's brain in. Mm -hmm.